movement between now and November that will stop what appears now to be a trend? You know, um, and I didn't make it up, doors close and doors open. I think this is a wake-up call. The people in this state who have been taking the Republican majority for granted, mm -hmm. we have been representative of what's equitable, of what's right for the island, for the city, all across upstate. Recognizing that the governor's from New York City, Senator Smith, the minority leader's from New York City, the attorney general, the controller, are from downstate. So we represent the balance here. I think this is going to be a wake-up call. I've had phone calls and calls waiting for me to answer of people who have indicated support in the past but have renewed vigor to help us maintain and increase our majority. So that's what's going to be different. This is going to really be a battle, just like battles that have been fought, got a lot of publicity, and then we go on with the war. Senator, how is this not a debacle? You lost the district with 30,000 more Republicans and Democrats. Why isn't this the beginning of the end? We Andrew? did everything that could be done to clarify the issues. People didn't focus on the issues. They focused territorially, geographically, personality-wise, and made a decision. We respect that decision. That decision is going to change in November in a general election. A special election is different. This governor, who publicly said he disassociated himself with this because his numbers are so low out there and he's so unpopular in upstate New York, he raised, I don't know how much, a million and a half, two million dollars to put in that race. That came from the Democrat committee. That is dishonest, dishonorable. You ought to step up and say that we want to win this one so that we can take total control of government. They don't do that. I'm inviting this governor to step out, step up, get out from behind closed doors, and govern. We have a budget to do. And we're committed to getting the budget done on behalf of the people of this state. And this governor needs to explain why he says we're not going to raise taxes, then puts almost $2 billion worth of new taxes and new fees in his budget. This governor needs to explain why he disenfranchises all the seniors in this state, low-income seniors, that we're going to get $350 million in tax rebates. The feds are doing a half a trillion dollar tax rebate. Why? Why are they doing that to the public? To stimulate the economy. Where is this governor? He is denying the spending power to seniors and low-income people. So we need the governor to stand up and debate that. If you're going to continue on the same course you've been on the last few years that have seen the erosion of your conference, or are there things that you're going to change now and do differently that would distinguish you from the Democrats? Give us a break we are here, going man. to stand for lowering property, lowering property taxes, said that individual years, rights. Seem to be selling. Well, we need a partner. We need the assembly to step up with us. We're going to keep saying it. We're going to keep working at it. And we need this governor to do the kinds of things that he said he would do when he was elected. And he hasn't done yet. We need him to step up Fred, as a partner. Your Senator, uh, Senator left the Democrat on abortion and on vouchers. Wasn't he too liberal for that district? We're going to reassess what was on people's minds. Uh, we're 2,000 votes apart there. In a general election, that would have been no contest. That district would have stayed Republican. So you're going to face a general election, and uh, we believe that that will come back. Uh, we'll see what time will tell. But the people out there, I think, are going to recognize the difference between a member joining the minority, controlled by downstate interests, and joining a majority as uh, somebody in Barkley would have done. Senator, will you so, run the Senate? So it's not over. That's, that's the first game's over. The rest of the season isn't. Excuse me, Senator, will you run the Senate any differently with, with this narrow majority than you would any other time? We, uh, we need to govern. We need to function. And that's what we're going to do. And we're going to keep communicating and conferencing. And <clears throat> these members, you can be proud of every single one of them. They stand up. They speak up. and. Uh, do the right but thing. No so different. You're not going to run it any differently. You're not going to open it up anymore for the Democrats? Well, we've got Democrats who are uh, communicating and who are where we are. Senator, why should the people of the Capital Region care whether it's a Democratic or Republican majority? 
Why? Because it's in their own best interest. Uh, it's the Republicans here in the majority that created jobs here in the capital region and throughout New York State. It's the Republicans that fight to reduce taxes, and we have reduced taxes the hard way because we need to get a partner there. So the people of the capital region, people of New York State, understand, really, that it's the Republicans in the Senate that control the Senate that really are part of what is important to the quality of life for people. And that's a job. That's a job. We've lost a million people in the last 10 years in this state. Why? Why have we? Well, we recognize why, and we want to do something about it. And that's what our agenda. So will you not reach out to me any kind of, Senator, will you not question? Is there going to be any, you tune up in your political organization as a result of a loss where you have 30,000. We are going forward. That was a phenomenon that took place. Uh, you can take a look at all the ramifications of that. It's over. It's history. So no We're going to win that back in November. We're going to win that back in November. Uh, weather conditions were such that who knows what the dynamic was. I don't know. But we're going to find out. We're going to find out. And we're going, and we're going to go forward. Here's the bottom line. We have a unified conference. We are in the majority. And contrary to the propaganda put out by the minority in the Senate and the executive, who keeps saying they're going to take us over since last February. We are here this morning, this afternoon, as a majority. And we're going to ink a majority as a majority. And when I count, a majority is a majority. And we'll increase that majority between now and November. So I'm going to thank my colleagues. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to go inside? Yeah. 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 Excuse us, please. Thank you. Thank you. you right? Fire in the belly, Senator. It's a room, guys. Watch uh, your back. Watch your back. Uh, frankly, charged up. Absolutely. Um, I really think if there's any good in what happens when you have a defeat, you know, I've been knocked down before, and you get up and, and you fight. And you know the old saying, and you can be trite, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Well, we've gone through some tough times, but we're tough enough that we're going to go on behalf of the people of this state. That's the bottom line. What's best for the people of this state? Do you want one person controlling all the government in New York State? I don't think so. So this is going to be a wake-up call. On the positive side, that's going to be a good thing. That's going to hold us in good stead as this majority goes forward into November. So yeah, I'm charged up. That and I feel Senator had the message. You had well, yesterday. it didn't. It didn't get through, Fred. You're right. It did not get through in a special election, but it'll get through now. Senator, how will you hold the Maltese seat if you can't even hold the 48? You know, where the um, registration is. So we different. didn't have an incumbent in the 48. We didn't have an incumbent. We have an experienced incumbent who's enthused, who is well known, and uh, he'll be reelected. And my old comms, they're all running. So thank you all. Thank you all. Have a great day.